I'm here at Moms for Liberty. I'm outside the convention. There's been a lot of protesters out. I caught up with two moms, uh, one of whom is a grandma, to hear what they are protesting. Can you tell me a little about, about what you're protesting today? I'm protest protesting the Moms for Liberty group even being here at the Marriott. I was protesting last night when they were down at the Museum for the American Revolution because it gives us, it gives the Give some credibility when they're actually a hate group supporting divisiveness, supporting banning books, supporting harm to trans children or gays and lesbians. And I'm here to protest that. How about you? What are you protesting today? Well, I've been hearing more and more about Moms for Liberty, and I think it's very scary given the state of our country right now that they are a growing right-wing group and they've been named that. And, you know, we have to do all we can to protect democracy and they're doing everything that's the opposite. You know, they're anti-gay, anti-trans, banning books that are so important for young people to have in their schools. They're going on school boards, even in it, trying to go to school board meetings, even where they're not members of that community. And I really think it's uh, awful that they're here in Philadelphia and that they were able to come here. And um, they're not about anything that we need right now in the United States. Did you see where some state legislatures were trying to have the American Museum of Revolution kick out the conference? Yeah, I did see that. And I think they should have, honestly. I heard that a lot of the workers there were also against them being there. What are some of the books? Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, I think I think the reason they shouldn't have had them um, have their welcome meeting at the museum is it gives them credibility and they're a hate group and hate groups should not be supported in any venue. What are some of the books that they're banning that you think should be in schools? I don't know. Oh, <laughs> I don't know any of the titles, but I know there was one book I was reading about. I'm not good at recalling names at this stage. But there's one that where there was just a mention at the very end of the book uh, that Johnny has a, 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 is in a family with two moms or Sam has a family with two dads. And because of that one line, they wanted the whole book banned and they, they did ban it. And I think I think that's what's now you've got children in those classrooms wow. who will have two moms or two dads. And now they don't get to see themselves represented at all in any of the books that they get to read in that school. And I think that's what's wrong. Okay. Thanks so much. Do you have anything yeah. to add? Or? No, they're also pointing at books with um, people of color in the text. And that's just so wrong. That's discriminatory. Children, like Martha just said, need to see all kinds of people and read everything. Great. Thank you so much. Thank you.